Welcome to this tutorial about VoiceThread, an online tool that lets you turn images, video, and text into a conversation. To use VoiceThread, you need to have an account. If you've signed up for an account before, you can log into the website using your email and password. If you haven't, however, you need to register for a new account. Once you're registered, you will be taken to your VoiceThread homepage. On this page, you can find all of the projects you've created in the past, or are working on currently, as well as your friends' projects, and official VoiceThread tutorials. The Browse and Create tabs on the top of your screen help you navigate the site. When you click Browse, you will be taken to a page where you can look through other people's voice threads. If you have a specific topic that you'd like to search for, enter it into the Browse bar. When you're ready to create your own thread, click the Create tab. Here, you can upload as many images as you'd like. Click the location of the picture you'd like to upload. It can be from your computer, Facebook, or any website. You can also upload multiple pictures at one time. When you've finished uploading your pictures, you can edit the title of your project. Here, you can give your project a name, description, and tags. A description and tags help others search for your thread when they browse. Tags are keywords that are related to the topic of your thread. After you've saved your thread, you can add comments to it. There are three different kinds of comments you can make. Audio, video, or text. To leave an audio comment, you can use your telephone. Click the phone icon at the bottom of the screen. Enter your phone number and VoiceThread will call you. You will hear automated instructions about how to leave a phone message. When you're finished, your comment will be added to your thread. Another way to leave an audio comment is to use your computer microphone. Click record and you will be prompted to start speaking. When you are finished, click stop recording and you can either save or cancel your comment. To leave a video comment, click the webcam icon at the bottom of the screen. When your webcam is connected to the computer, you should see your image in the left side of the screen. Begin recording. When you're finished, you can save or cancel your comment. To leave a text comment, click Type. There are two different options under Type. One is to enter text into the comment box. Another is to doodle. When you click the color palette in the bottom right corner of the screen, your mouse cursor becomes a drawing tool. You can doodle at the same time you're leaving audio and video comments, but doodles fade a few seconds after you make them. They are most useful if you would like to point out an important detail that you are describing in another comment. Every time you save a comment, it shows up on the left side of your screen as an icon. You can click the picture to hear or see the comment. You can see other pictures you've uploaded in your thread in the bottom right corner of your screen. On this page, you can click on different pictures to add more comments. You can also share your thread by going back to the Create tab. Your friends appear in the middle of the screen. Click on the name of a friend you would like to share your thread with and select Invite. You can also change your privacy and comment settings so that you decide whether or not your thread is public or private. When you're finished, you can also export your project or embed it into a website. 